Well, good morning again viewers. It's Peter Elgar Photography here. This is a Cosina CT1 I'm going to show you today. It's not a very well known brand because they were a bit late to the market I think after Nikon and Pentax and Minolta single lens reflex cameras and then Canon of course. They were a bit late so they weren't terrifically popular but I found there's nothing wrong with it at all. It gives very good photographs. This was free from a camera club member who was given it and he didn't want it so he'd given it to me. So the Cosina company make other things as well. They make lenses for other companies under their own name or different names. This lens here is a Cosinon F2 a 50mm standard lens, what it came with. And I've done some pictures of F2 and it's amazingly sharp. You, you think for a sort of a cheaper camera, the lens won't be very good, but I was amazed how sharp it is. The lens comes off with the usual Pentax K bayonet fitting here. You press the little release button and turn the lens off and pop the lens off. There we are. Now inside, it's got the original undamaged foam here, so I didn't replace that. It's quite old now, but whoever had it before didn't use it a great deal because it's almost in mint condition. So that strip of foam across there hasn't been replaced, but I have replaced some inside, which I will show you. The lever here is a delayed action. So we'll wind it on, pull down the delayed action, Press the shutter and the mirror goes up. That's a good feature. And then the shutter will go after 10 seconds. When the mirror goes up, it prevents the camera from vibrating. So that's a good feature. On the side here, there's a three millimeter coaxial flash socket into which you can plug your studio flashes or small flashes with a little lead such as this and it also has a hot shoe flash socket as well so I have used it with flash as I shall show you with my results there we are now we can put them to the a faster speed then we'll take a picture I'm not going to blind you so we'll point the flash down there we are there goes the flash so that works and I've used it as I say very successfully with flash. Nothing much else on the front but on the top we've got the other usual controls here. We've got a frame counter which counts up your numbers to 36 or 24 or whatever film you put in. You've got the shutter release here which doesn't have a lock because when you push this lever in you can't take a picture anyway. You have to pull it out slightly then you can take a picture. We we'll wind it on, push it in, now it's locked. That's a good feature, there's not a separate little lock like you have on some other cameras. The, the shutter dial has got an orange 125th here and that is the maximum flash synchronizing speed on this camera which is very very good for a cheaper camera. It synchronizes with flash to 125th Normally, there's only a 60th, but this is 125th, which is an excellent um, shutter speed for flash. Here's the hot shoe with X synchronization. X, of course, stands for xenon flash tubes, and the electronic flash goes in here. Ah, it didn't flash because the little wire is not making a connection here. So we'll stick that in. Now we'll see if it flashes. Yes, flashes now. But the hot shoe works. This one is where you set your film speed. That's ASA setting dial. Now I used it in the Philippines and I had it set to 100 ASA because I was using out of date Kodak Portra 160. 
and it, they all came out perfectly, about six or seven rolls I took and they're all colour negative, came out perfectly by down rating it. There's no DX coding inside as you've got on some of the more modern all, all singing, all dancing cameras. So this is a good feature, you can down rate your film if you want to. So now inside we've got the pull up the back. Now this is quite stiff because I have renewed the seal. Oh it's not so stiff now. <laughs> there we are. All these went rotten and it's quite old so I've re renewed all those seals and also there's a strip here. I've renewed that strip there with a piece of foam but these are the original bits of foam in there and also there's the original bits of foam in here which haven't gone rotten so I didn't remove those. Now on this camera, being a bit cheaper, you can't take the back off. But it doesn't matter because I don't need that feature every time. Now here's the shutter. This is a vertically running shutter. And that's why you can get 125th flash synchronizing speed. We'll run it there. Here we are. Lovely shutter. See, it's good. there's nothing wrong with it. It's, it's, it's a cheap camera, but it works perfectly. And I've got some really good results, which I'll show you in a minute. Then, oh yes, load the film. Here we are. We might as well load a film. Show you that. Here we are. Put your film in there. Pull out and stick it in the little lever, the little slot here. As I said before, it's always difficult doing it in a video, especially when this film has been used several times and now we've got a broken bit. Look, I've used it for demonstrations. Then we're we'll seeing push it into the uh, there we are. Use your fingers of course to tighten it up. Press with your thumb. Make certain the cogs are engaged. Yes. Wind it on once, press with your thumb, not over the shutter, but there. Hold it tight, watch it's going, yes. Perfectly taken up. Now you can close the back, turn this to make certain it's tight. Wind it once, watch that the rewind knob is moving. Perfect. Now, although it's not on naught, or number one, you can start photographing and you will get extra frames on your film. You can get 39 out of a 36. You can get 27 out of a 24 quite easily. Now when it's all done, you've got to press in the rewind button at the base here like you do on most cameras. Press that in with a little finger and then turn this. Okay now, as it's a dummy film, I'll, show, I'll open that back, you can see the action, there we are, press in the rewind button, right, do it this way around, there we are, you're winding back into your cassette now, look, all your valuable holiday pictures from Benny Dorm or somewhere, are all now ready to be processed, there we are, take it out, leave the the processors like it if you leave the tongue out a little bit, it makes it easier for them. Now, how do you know when you've got the right exposure? Well, inside there is a match needle system. Let me have a little dot to dot. Here we are, on. When you um, set your film speed, and you, you choose a shutter speed you want to use, say a 500th, and you look through here. And on the left inside, you turn the aperture, having wound it on and pulled out the um, rewind, pulled out the winder, you look in there, there's a little needle which fluctuates up and down. When the little needle's in the middle, by balancing it with your aperture, that's the right exposure. There's no automatic exposure on this, it's manual exposure only, which makes it a bit simpler and a bit cheaper. Now, it only takes one battery. It takes a one and a half volt battery. 
I thought oh, I'll show you quickly because the camera will work with no battery the battery is only for the exposure system so if your battery goes the beauty of this camera is it will work without a battery now that's the way you put it in with the minus side up and the plus side in now I thought how do you know because inside there there's a little plus sign because there's no instruction book with this but there's a little plus sign I thought oh that's the way look we'll take we'll wind it on here it's still working with no battery that's the beauty of this camera See, oh the shutter works it only powers the exposure meter system I'll put it in the right way round there we are stick that on like that we'll cover up now we better show you some results now well pretend that's on because it takes ages to stick that on again and then I'll show you some results now I took this to the Philippines and I did take another lens with it is a I took this lens which is a Pentax lens it's a zoom and it's a 28 to 80 millimeter A series zoom now the A is for cameras with programmed exposure which this one doesn't have the Cosina so you don't have it on the A you set it to any of the aperture on the little green line there the red line is for macro setting but you don't put it on the A so I remembered that and I've got some wonderful pictures now when I went to the Philippines I went out with a camera club member there from Cebu Images Camera Club and we went to Santo Nino Church in Cebu and we met up with some other photographers and this is one I took and this photographer on the right here with the blue he also has a Cosina CT1 I couldn't believe it <laughs> This bloke's got a Canon, but he's got exactly the same camera as I have, but his is all done up with tape. He's got the same strap as I had, the leather strap, and I think he's got a grip on it. But it's the same camera, I couldn't believe it. So we took a photo of him. Now here's a flash one, taken in the market, with a flash, beautiful colour, look at that, on an out of date film, date 2003, Kodak. Portra 160 I wanted to finish up so I downrated it to 100 perfect colours here's some fill in flash these are in deep shadow you can see the shadows here now they would have been really dark but I used a bit of weak fill in flash so I, I used a, a, a weaker flash setting but I set the aperture to say um, f, f, f8 on the flash now I set the aperture to say f5.6 on the flash but on the camera I set f8 so it's underexposing the flash by one stop now this guy he's a farmer and I got him to pose and this is almost at full aperture it's at 2.8 so I can put the background out of focus but this old character was under the shadow while my sister-in-law was busy talking and stuff that is an f2 full aperture with no flash because he was a bit he came out from the jungle somewhere and I thought I don't want to frighten him but that is a full aperture f2 that's sharp you can see the detail on his beard and everything there's there is one of my wife's relatives throwing us down a coconut there's a bit of flash that way because he's in under the dark tree look this is a temple we went to which has been built in memory of this deceased lady here who was very rich she married a poor man he inherited all her money but they was really in, in love and so he, he's built this temple which is still under construction in Cebu in her memory but that with a bit of flash and a bit of daylight balanced up what was the Cosina now look at the detail this is from a moving vehicle stopped at a 500th of a second because we weren't going 40 miles an hour there's so much traffic in the 
Philippines, you can only go about 25 miles an hour. <laughs> but look at the detail here. All the lettering has been resolved. This is one of my favourite. I like this lady here with the dresses and the little schoolgirl. So there we are. That's a quick rundown on my one of my other free cameras, the Cosina CT1. So I hope you've enjoyed it. And um, keep looking at the videos and subscribe. And I'll show you some more for my collection. And they're not just collector's items, folks, because I really use them. Thanks for viewing.